Welcome, traveler. Please sit and rest your weary legs. While you're here, would you be interested in the story of the curse that befell the great Night City? A twisted story, a tale down the rabbit hole, where nothing is what it seems and everything has been corrupted. You want to hear it, yes? Well, our story begins with our hero, the corporate soldier, V. He found himself becoming a city rat with his new friend, Jackie Wells. In this cursed version of Night City, V is surrounded by people and things that are not where they should be. Shops no longer sell their normal wares. The only loot that can be found on bodies is pants? I'm also pretty sure Victor isn't supposed to look like that. V wanted to leave his old life behind, become a net runner. He felt this journey would be a simple one. However, making assumptions is not a good idea. With the curse upon Night City, the skill and skins of foes were vastly different than they were previously. Suddenly, he found himself facing down adversaries ranging from lowly grunts to God among men. The little mission to save Sandra Dorset was a perfect example of this. You see that sometimes the magic ebbs and flows, and the curse is only broken when V cannot possibly continue. Sandra is saved, and V retreats with Jackie. Sorry, take two retreats with Jackie back home. V struggled to make a name for himself, constantly being beat down. But as a netrunner, V had something in his back pocket for these ruffians. The mass vulnerability daemon was designed to combat their resistances. Some legends say it does about 30% of their resistances, but has the potential to grow in power. Well, at least that was the idea. Uh, didn't really go that well for me at all. What the hell? Where did all these mechs come from? And why are they sliding across the ground? Those aren't treads. All right, who gave Casper a gun? Huh? Get back here! Who said I was done with you? Oh, hi Dex. Nice, uh, fanny pack. Yeah, fanny pack. You know, I've heard of club hazings, but uh, this takes the cake. I go. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Damn, I didn't know Arasaka soldiers had moves. Keep it going, girl. Hey. I mean, never said this was a T-pose party. I forgot mine in my other pants. It's important to mention that brain dancers and the past are unaffected by the curse. If they were, V would surely be flatlined. Hey, this is Jackie XC coming from outside the fourth wall. What he's trying to say is this causes the game to crash, so I had to disable the mod. This is also true of softlocks, which there are many, several which you've already seen. But enough about this, back to the story. Hey, this is my job. I go to all the trouble of making this story, weaving a tale of words, telling the stories of heroes' mighty deeds, then you have to go and ruin it? Gosh darn it. Sorry, Traveler, where was I?
shit, he left his pet maelstrom out. Well, we're going to have to deal with that. Is it Adam Smasher? This isn't the kind of family we am used to. Damn, that's a hug. Oh my god, do those guys have jetpacks? Sick. Casper, I always knew you were the friendliest ghost. Jesus, Takamore, how did you not get cut in half? V meets his newest companion, Johnny. They have quite the interesting outfit to say the least. Of course, the curse will have them randomly change appearance, so you may not see this outfit that often. So V now needs to progress further on their journey to find a cure for the chip they stole. First, he gets a new makeover as the curse is no longer affecting him because, um, reasons. Gordon! He was looking to redeem himself in the eyes of Arasaka and wanted to try and find a way for him to get back in their good graces. Takamura was his ticket. He must help him locate Evelyn and Anders Hellman. With the help of Judy, they successfully find and free Evelyn. However, their reunion is quite disconcerting. Let's do this. Anywho, with that out of the way, he really starts building those Netrunner skills. He manages to find a Ripper who sells a better OS, and gets lucky finding a high level quick hack, System Reset. This will allow V to take out higher level enemies with ease. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure about that. From, from the rest of the story, uh, maybe. Pan Am is the key to finding Hellman. So V works together with her to find him. Wait, there's no jumper cables in here. This proves more challenging than V thought, as Nash and his gang were way harder than expected. That's not a car key, what the hell? Nash's crew, they're all dead. But he manages to pull through and secure Hellman. The Voodoo Boys come in knocking, and V answers, since he has to wait for Takamura to finish his reconnaissance. They task him with cleaning out the GIM, which V does without much issue. The animal boss wasn't what V expected. I'm pretty sure he violated the Geneva Convention. Wait, that rhymed. With Netwatch out of the way, the next big hurdle was getting into cyberspace. It turns out the Voodoo Boys have a little bit of infighting. Oh, 
Why can't we just all get along? V makes contact with Alt and gets the hell out of there as fast as they can. Yanni, did you do something with your hair? Takamura finally is ready with intel for V. They are going to break into a warehouse and hack Hanako Arasaka's float. This is pretty easy since V is an accomplished netrunner. He just stealths his way in and then deltas the F out. Now it's on the big parade, one of the most challenging parts of V's journey. First, the crowd is soaring with enemies. He has to try and kill some snipers for Takamori, but this is difficult if they leave their posts and mingle with the crowd. After the first one is dealt with, the second one is guarded by an invincible mech. After many attempts, V manages to take down this sniper and move on to the last. This one falls easily and V proceeds to take care of the pesky netrunner. However, V is ambushed by Officer Oda of the NCPD, who is extremely skilled. After a long, drawn-out fight, V is able to defeat Oda, but it is a little overzealous, killing Oda in the process. Hopefully this isn't an issue later when he wants to get into Urasaka's good graces. <laughs> V then finds out Takamura's real plan for kidnapping Hanako and meets him in an old hotel. However, the NCPD receives a tip-off and V now has to save Takamura. mounts a rescue, but finds that the curse has Takamura ensnared. The creator of the curse really has no love for V, huh? <clears throat> the curse is about as consistent as your narration, so you are one to talk. And whose fault is that? After all, I am just you putting on a shitty voice. 
Hey, don't ruin that for the traveler. So, sorry for opening back the fourth wall for arguing with myself. I will return control to the narrator, who is totally not me. Guys, what about me, the V voice actor? Shut, Shut up. up. God, multiple personalities, am I right? With Takamura out of the picture, V will have little to no friends for the upcoming finale. Hanako agrees to help V, but on the condition that they deal with her brother. After freeing her from Arasaka Mansion, V, Hellman, and Hanako meet with the Arasaka board to reveal the truth about what happened to Hanako's father. Hey, do you think you could move your coat out of my way? It's kind of blocking my view. Thanks. Things go sideways when her brother attempts to assassinate the board in Hanako, but V manages to deal with the group of mechanics he hired. Uh, Hanako, are you okay? With the would-be assassins dealt with, V has one last hurdle, three flights of stairs. These are guarded by the most hardened Arasaka soldiers. This means many, many attempts for V to finally reach the elevator. God, close the doors already? But V manages to get in, but just barely. Hanako triumphs in the sibling rivalry and kills her brother. V is whisked off to parts unknown to finally have Johnny removed. Unfortunately, uh, they were sent to the wrong surgery, and he became one of the Blue Men group. Oh, and uh, Adam Smasher with a thing. Forgot that in my notes. Johnny. Thus ends the tale of the Curse of Night City. I hope you enjoyed the story, Traveler, and my company. Listen, I was wondering if you had time for another. Hey, where are you going? 